Today, I want to talk about habits and why they're important for you to do the work that matters. Habits are frustrating because a lot of times we're not really conscious of the habits that we do. It's important because something called the Pareto Principle. There's a cue, a routine, and a reward. The cue is what gets us to start the habit. Very often, a cue is time-based. So let's say, for example, it's four o'clock and you wanna go do something. Your mind knows that at four o'clock you have to do something. The routine is the actual thing that you get to do. So using that same example, at four o'clock you go get a coffee. Then there's the reward. The reason why the reward is very important for people to learn about is that all habits come with some sort of reward. We do things for a reason. If you understand the reward, you're more than likely to change your habit. So in this example, let's say it's four o'clock, you go to the coffee. The reason why you're getting that coffee is you're trying to get caffeinated in order to improve your day. Habits are important to me because I've personally seen how they've affected my life. Habits are basically risk mitigation. As I said, that 20% figures into the 80% of your good or bad day. When I was younger, I didn't understand that, so I had a mixture of good and bad habits that could leave me at best in a neutral position or worse than when I started. Like how bad can it be if I don't form good habits? If you don't form good habits, the bad habits will overtake your time, your energy, and your commitment to good work. Bad habits are consistently done. You're not consistently capturing the value of the day. You may get lucky some days and have some positive motion, but you'll end up looking up at the end of the day and figuring what just happened. Good habits are a way to mitigate the risk of a bad habit. Will it ruin my life if I don't have good habits? Yeah, it'll ruin your life. Depends on how you categorize your life. If you think life is about succeeding in terms of doing interesting things and taking on interesting projects and being a trusted member in your community, sure, your life will be broken. But if you were looking for the mediocre and the average, why are you watching these videos? You're probably missing some sort of Netflix show. And I ask that you go back to it because the next episode is starting and the popcorn is burning. Changing your habits can make you a more impactful leader by mitigating the risk you face. If your team knows that they're gonna consistently see gratitude and consistently be heard, and they're going to consistently get a one-on-one -on -one to feel listened to, they will feel better and give you better work. As a result, you'll feel better in the process. A lack of habits really destroyed the ability for me to deliver good work when I was an individual contributor at a company. When I first started, my professional career. I would always be the high flyer, but being a high flyer and my ability to hit home runs is a lot of strikeouts. Now, when I hit home runs, it's beautiful. People enjoyed the work I did. However, when I started striking out, all that praise disappeared rather quickly. What I didn't know then that I know now is that by keeping a consistent habit ritual, that focused on good habits to sustain the risk of me striking out, I could have sustained those home runs. And in a sense, my home runs would have went longer from the organizational support I would have found by having those consistent good habits. Looking through the lenses of self-awareness, execution, and direction, how can we implement a habit practice in our life to understand what habits we have? Self-awareness. You have to be aware of the power of a habit. The beauty of a habit is, after a certain amount of times of doing things over and over and over again, it doesn't take as much willpower to knock out. So, you're starting to do something on a consistent basis, and you're starting to do it the same way. And if you organize that energy in the right way, you can get some really good things done without too much of a hassle. Execution. How do you execute on understanding your habits? Well, one thing, I like to do is I like to do a habit audit. And a habit audit looks like a big spreadsheet with three things. It's cue, it's routine, and it's reward. During the week, I like to write down what habits I notice. What do I do on a consistent basis that ends up more or less a habit? After a while, let's say after that week, I take a look and I audit it. I look specifically at the routine and at the reward. The reason why I do that is there's no real reason to change the cue or even really the reward of your habit if you have to. 
your body is reacting to a time and a feeling. If you change that time and a feeling, it's going to feel out of place. The good news about recording that cue and the reward in a proactive way is now you can use it to change whatever that habit was into a better habit. For example, if I had a habit of four o'clock, I wanted to go get a coffee because I wanted to feel better about my day. Instead of getting a coffee, I could write a thank you note. I know that sending gratitude makes me feel better and as an extra effect, it's gonna make the person I send that note feel better. And it's gonna make my team more impactful because if that person's going to be more present and I'm gonna be more present as well. Direction, if you wanna be honest about your habits and you wanna propel a conversation about the habits, that you, you have to tell them what habits you have and make that public. Through that, you might start finding people telling you their habit and you can start putting them together into more of a team habit or a group habit or a company habit that propels your team into doing good work more consistent. So you and your team can get together and make those habits a team thing, not just an individual one. Good habits are the difference between situational success and consistent. Team habits are the difference between lucky success and consistent success. And those that are consistent the ones that are going to stick around. So, self-awareness. You want to make sure that you know the power of habit. Execution. You want to get the habits down. You want to understand what they are. All the cue, the routine, and the reward. Then, direction. You want to be public about it. The great thing is, once you do that, you're able to take more risk because people will feel comfortable knowing that the basics will be done. Make a comment, share this with the team and the tribe that you lead so that we can have a conversation about how this can help us all. Thanks for watching this video.